My name is Yasmin Rail. I'm a consultant haematologist at St George's Hospital in London. Traditionally, chemotherapy were drugs that killed cells fairly non-specifically, but tended to kill cancer cells more than other cells. And as a result, there were side effects because other cells were also damaged in that process. We still use some of those drugs, but we're tending to use them less and less, and we're tending to use more of the newer types of drugs. We're fortunate in myeloma that there's lots, in, certainly in the last 10 or 15 years, there have been lots of development in terms of new drugs. And although we still refer to them as chemotherapy, they're not the same as the traditional chemotherapies that people think about. So these new treatments have been designed to target myeloma cells specifically, with the aim of having treatments that have fewer side effects, um, and are also, more importantly, more, more effective in treating myeloma. Normally, we do give chemotherapy over a period of months. We divide the chemotherapy into cycles. So one cycle will be usually a block of somewhere between three and six weeks, depending on the type of treatment you're having. The reason we do that is partly, again, depending on the treatment, partly is you'll get some chemotherapy in the first few days and then have a period of recovery or for the treatment to work, and then you come back for the next one. Some of the treatments are given in a continuous fashion, um, but we like to divide it into cycles or blocks so that gives us a chance to regularly review you in terms of side effects, make sure the treatment's working and any questions or concerns that arise. Most myeloma treatment is delivered as an outpatient on the whole, um, so most of our treatments will be delivered on the chemotherapy suite or the day unit. You'll usually need to have some blood tests done just before the treatment, that may be on the day or a, day, a few days before the actual start of treatment. When you arrive on the chemotherapy suite or the day unit, you'll be met by the nurse who will have a chat to you, make sure you're okay, um, check your blood tests, go through the, you know, again about the process of the chemotherapy and then you'll be given the chemotherapy. So it may be just a little injection under the skin, it may be a drip and therefore obviously the duration of time that you're in on the day unit will, will vary. But it's usually, it can be less than an hour, it could be half a day depending on, on the treatment. You will probably need to come to hospital on average about once a week to the chemotherapy suite or the day unit in order to have treatment. Myeloma treatments have been designed to match the myeloma population, which on average is an older population, so they are designed to be well tolerated. For some patients, chemotherapy goes very smoothly and we talk about patients sailing through their treatment. Some patients continue to work through it continue their day-to-day -day life and almost wouldn't know that they're on treatment at all. For other patients, unfortunately, things can be a bit harder and can struggle more in terms of side effects with the psychological impact. Um, and it can be more difficult for patients, but we always ensure that there's plenty of support for patients to enable them to continue through their treatment. And we are always making sure that we're reviewing patients and trying to make any changes that we can to make the treatment more tolerable. The common side effects of myeloma treatment, so there can be some nausea, um, can upset the bowel, so diarrhea, constipation, can affect the appetite. Um, those are things that we can do something, we can normally give you something for sickness and diarrhea to, to control those things. One of the side effects that people do struggle with is fatigue or tiredness, which I think is often unexpected. And again, we can help give advice about modifying lifestyle and strategies to cope with that. Some of the treatments may cause thinning of the hair. Most of the myeloma treatments do not cause complete hair loss. Um, so which is, which is again because we are using more targeted treatment, which target the myeloma rather than other cells in the body such as the hair follicles. One of the questions we get asked about in patients who are still working is can I keep working? Again it's always hard to predict and it depends on the type of work um, but I would there are certainly patients that are able to keep working and fit the treatment around around their work. For other people their nature of work isn't suitable for that, or indeed if they find the chemotherapy a bit harder, might find it more difficult. But we do try and encourage people to try and maintain their normal lifestyles. So whether that's 
um, going out and socialising, seeing your family. People can be concerned about the risks of infections, but it is important that you nonetheless see your family, grandchildren, um, and that you're, you're able to continue your normal lifestyle. At the moment, none of the treatments are curative, but the treatments are very good at getting the myeloma under control and keeping it in remission, i.e. at a very low level under control for several months, if not years. When your course of chemotherapy is finished, hopefully the myeloma will have gone into remission, which means the myeloma is at a very low level. You'll enter a period of monitoring where we'll just keep an eye on you um, to make sure that you're well, there's no new symptoms, and also to keep an eye on the myeloma. We'd normally see patients maybe once a month, every couple of months, and sometimes every three months. Every time we see you, we'll do some blood tests and talk to you. And hopefully you'll have a period of remission where you'll be able to get back to your normal activities. At some point down the line, we may see signs of the myeloma relapsing or coming back again. And at that point, we'll talk to you about starting chemotherapy again.